Well, you guys asked for it, so this is my updated video on how to make the Mate 20 and the Mate 20 Pro look like stock Android. Now, first up, stock Android isn't really a thing anymore. Long story short, when I'm referring to stock Android in this video, and now when most people refer to stock Android, we're kind of actually talking about the Pixel devices. And in this case, the latest Pixel device, the Pixel 3 and Pixel 3 XL. It's not technically stock Android, but it's just a matter of speech. This video is going to basically show you how to get the look that the Pixel has, just so we're clear. Okay, so firstly, we need to change the launcher. Now, if you're not familiar, the launcher is basically the app that you use as your home screen. By changing it to another one, and there are a lot in the Play Store, you'll make the biggest impact on getting the Huawei Mate 20 or Mate 20 Pro or any phone for that matter to look like stock Android. To make sure it works, we're going to use Nova Launcher and customize it to look like stock Android. Now, I tried the actual Pixel Launcher and Google Now Launcher, and they both kept crashing, so this is probably the best option. Now, you can head to the Play Store, search for and install Nova Launcher. After it installs, open it and you can go through the quick setup. Once done with the setup, go to the phone's settings, search for and tap on default apps, tap on launcher, select Nova and click change. Then we can hit the home button to be brought to the new Nova launcher. Now, every time we hit the home button, that's where we'll go. Now, next, we need to adjust some of the settings to make it look like stock Android. So tap and hold on the background and then tap on settings, tap on app drawer and turn on swipe to open or close. Then going to the home screen, then search bar placement and choose dock below icons. Head to home screen, desktop grid, and change it to five to six to match the Pixel 3 XL. Tap on icon layout and change the size to 100%. Then go to search bar style and select the rounded one, the color G logo, and tap on bar color. Keep it white, but we're gonna change the transparency to maybe 25 or so. Now after that, we can go to the home screen and we can already see with just that, we're getting pretty close. Now let's replace the Huawei icon pack with one that looks more like Google. Simply head to the Play Store, search for and install the Pixel Pie icon pack. Once installed, tap and hold on the blank space on the home screen and tap on settings to get to Nova settings. Tap on look and feel, icon style, icon theme, and choose the new Pixel Pie icon pack. Now all of your icons should look a lot more like the actual ones from the Pixel. Now let's sort of complete the home page look by adding the Google Discover page to the far left of the home screen pages like it is on the Pixel. Tap and hold on the blank space on the home screen to get to the settings and then Nova settings. Search for Google Discover and tap on that under integrations. Tap on Google Discover there to be brought to Nova's website where you can then download and install the Nova Google Companion via a link on that page. Once it's downloaded, tap install to install it. Once installed, we can tap and hold on a blank space on the home screen and tap on settings again to get to Nova settings. Tap on integrations and then we can enable Google Discover. Now, when you're on the home screen and you swipe to the far left, you'll get the Google Discover page. Now, Google did some interesting things with their gesture system. I won't go into detail. If you want, you can read the link below. It explains how they kind of locked it down a bit. But because of what they did, we can't actually get the same gestures and we can't get like the pill, for example, that's at the bottom of the Google Pixel on the Huawei Mate 20 and Mate 20 Pro. So instead, you can either just leave the navigation buttons and just use that or if you wanna get it a little close to the way that it kind of looks, I guess, on the Pixel, we can actually turn on Huawei's own gestures. So to do that, we're gonna to go to settings and then we're just gonna search for system navigation. Tap on that, tap on gestures. You can also tap on the settings to get a quick tutorial on how to use Huawei's gestures if you're not familiar with them. Now, when you're using Huawei's gestures and Nova's launcher and not Huawei's own launcher, there is a little bit of a glitch. Now, the glitch is when you swipe up to go home, Nova will show the multitasking view temporarily for a split second before bringing you home. It's not the biggest deal, but it's just something to be aware of. Now, for the calendar, let's use Google's calendar instead of Huawei's. Head to the Play Store, search for install Google Calendar, and then tap on it to open it and set it up. Once set up, head to Settings, Apps, tap on the calendar with the red icon, then tap Open by default and Clear Defaults. Then also tap Back, tap on Notifications, and turn those off so that you don't get double notifications from events from both of the calendar apps. Now let's get that cool calendar widget that the Pixel has. It's called At a Glance now, and while we used to have to go through third-party apps to get this, we no longer have to, as Google has now included this in their new calendar widget. Simply head to the Play Store and download the Google app if it's not already on your device as it was for me, but just in case. Once installed, head to the home page, tap and hold on the background, tap on widgets and tap, hold and drag the at a glance calendar widget from the Google section and place it on the home screen, resize it so that it looks correct. Now one of the more subtle but kind of cool things about the Pixel that I like 
is the Living Universe wallpapers. Now, these are the wallpapers that kind of move and do things in the background like a live wallpaper used to, but they have very like nature settings. Now, they're not supposed to work on other devices, but there is a way to make them work. Head to the Play Store and download the Google Wallpapers app. Now, these won't be available in it by default, but we are going to install something else and then they'll show up inside in the next step. So, head to my website at the link below and then there's a link there and make sure that you do this on your phone. When you do, that link will then show you an APK file that you can then tap on and save it to your phone. Once you download it to your phone, tap install to install it. Now after it's installed, head to the Google Wallpapers app and you'll see a section for what's called live wallpapers. You can tap that and while you'll see the old ones that it had in it before, you'll also now see the new Living Universe ones in there. You can tap those and then set it as your home screen. Next, let's get the stock messaging app. Now besides the swiping away of messages to kind of like archive them and then they come back whenever that person remessages you, which my OCD personally loves, it also is kind of the closest look to stock that you can really get. And it's basically just installing an app so it's easy enough to do. Now, my Mate 20 Pro actually came with it pre-installed. So if yours did, you can just skip this but I'm putting it here just in case someone's phone didn't have it. Now, to get it, if you don't already have it, head to the Play Store, search for Android Messages and install it. You'll know it's the right one because it'll be from Google Inc. as the developer. Open the app, follow the instructions to make it the default messaging app, and you're all set. Now, let's get the stock Google Keyboard to go with the messaging app, right? Go to the Play Store, search for Gboard and install it. Open it and follow all of its prompts to then set it as the default keyboard. Okay, for contacts. Head to the Play Store, and now we're gonna search for and install Google Contacts. Once installed, open it and you can set it up and then tap on that icon instead of the Huawei phone book icon whenever you wanna get to Contacts and that'll give you more Google Contact experience. Now, you should be looking pretty non-stock at this point, but let me know in the comments if you guys have any other apps that might help complete the look. I'm sure others would appreciate it. Otherwise, hope that helps you guys out. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and ding the bell next to the word subscribe so you get notified when I do new videos. Also, check out my website. I just kind of restarted it. I'm doing some more writing on there, other tips and tricks, news, things that just don't make it necessarily here to a YouTube video. You can check that out at the link below. And don't forget to subscribe to the email newsletter there. It goes out once a week. It's not annoying at all, I promise. Otherwise though, as always guys, thanks for watching.